Hi guys and welcome to Striker Showdown, the series where me and I play with a friend and we both take a striker with similar comparable stats and see which one is better over a period of so many six or so games. In this episode we're going to be looking at Eto versus Soldado. And as you can see they're very similar, both got the same pace, same shooting and then comparable passing, physical and dribbling. We've both given off, they've both got the same height. Uh, who's got the edge on skills, both got the same weak foot, and they're both a very similar price. And both obviously Premier League strikers. So let's have a look, firstly, at how Eto got on during the games. And here he almost sets up an amazing goal, but it wasn't to be as it gets saved there. But yeah, Eto was such a was a really fun player to use. I was using Eto and Scotty was using Soldado. He was uh, the four star skills was a massive bonus for me. Has uh, that's an unbelievable goal on clearance. He just meant that he had he had that uh, that extra bit of trickery to get away from his man and give him those chances to get the goals. You know, for me, I, I like to use skills, so it was very good. And it, as you can see, he's got some unbelievable technique. It's just is the way that he sometimes the way that he does shoot is is very very good it's uh, different to what I've seen before although I would say he wasn't 100% clinical he missed quite a few chances as you can see here with those there but he, as they show by that touch he's got unbelievable technique and here's his first goal that I scored with him a very nice cut inside with the spin and then a finish into the bottom corner which when he did finish, most of his finishes were pretty deadly. He was he was a very good player to use. He had a he had a very good long shot as well. As you can see, yeah, he was very. Uh, the only problem I found is what was that he kept trying to come come short, but he wasn't as good as I thought he would be. At being that link up man, he was better either trying to get in behind or picking up the ball just on the edge or just inside the box to make an attempt at goal and push forwards. And yeah, the, yeah, the skills is deadly with that spin, and with uh, once he gets away from his man, he's got that ability to just put it around the keeper. He was very, very good player. He's very fun. He's obviously got a massive downgrade this year with in terms of pace, but he was still pretty fast. And as you can see, I scored five goals and got one assist in the six games. But next, let's move on to Soldado, and he was uh, Roberto Soldado was similar for me anyway to how he was in real life. He was very, he, he seemed dangerous, but he was also, he was very, he was a, quite a physical player and he had a good, decent touch and he was good at getting away from them, the defence. But sometimes his clinical finishing was not there. But let's, uh, I just want to have a talk about what Scotty thought of him. He said he thought that he was a very good goal scorer and that if he was to use him to definitely put the instructions on, in the pre-game or in the squad selection part to make sure that he stays central so that he doesn't come to try and collect the ball because he wasn't very good at that he was he needed to stay on his man looking to get in behind as well as, well as putting that in as one of the instructions to get in behind because that's one of the ways that he got most of his goals was just breaking away reacting really fast to get away from his man and get into the box that was where he was at his best because until Scotty put in these instructions, he was pretty bad. But once he did put set him up this way, he was he was deadly. He's, he's definitely recommended that I would suggest maybe yeah that he plays on his own. But for Eto maybe to put him in a partnership. Although I played him up front on his own, he was very good. And um, it makes very good runs at Soldado. Like I just said, it, once you put in that instruction to get him behind, and he's very good at putting pressure on the defence and capitalising on mistakes. As you can see by most of these clips, we just when I made something, messed something up, or did something wrong, any time, or just here, just like not even a mistake, but he's capitalising on just a poor touch. It's no, it's not the massively worst touch you've ever seen, but it's just the tiniest little bit, and he's he's away. He's very good. He wasn't he wasn't super speedy. But he's very, very good at capitalising on those mistakes and getting away and finishing well. Although he wasn't quite as good at dribbling, 
as his the cards would suggest, as I tell you, he was very, he was decent enough on the ball. And as you can see, he was, a, he was. A, once Scotty changed him that way to be that way, he was a deadly finisher and a very, very good striker. So if you can see here that Scotty scored six goals in the six games. So let's have a look and see which one is going to go on to win this striker showdown. And for me, I'd have to give it to Eto because he was just so much fun to use. He made, uh, he scored quite a few nice goals and he had unbelievable technique. But for Scotty, it has to be Soldado, especially since he changed him to put in those instructions. So it's in tie and FIFA is going to give it to Eto because even though they both contributed six goals in the six games, Soldado actually scored six goals and Eto only scored five. So Soldado wins his first episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Try out both of the players. It was both very good, and I'll see you in a bit.